I'm going to be reviewing this Marc Jacobs um, Decadence perfume, the Eau de Toilette version. And I have the one ounce version right here. And I actually purchased this um, on a pretty big discount at Marshall's. And I got this for $35. And I absolutely love this fragrance. And the bottle is so gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. And it has this like little python print with this gold chain um, purse. It's so luxurious. Um, I would say that this is more of like an everyday uh, light floral scent. Um, I've worn this a few times and I have gotten compliments on it. It's very like fresh. Um, it does have the same notes as um, Daisy and Daisy Love at the top of it, but I would say this is more like complex and sophisticated. I'm also going to talk about those two other fragrances that Marc Jacobs um, has, the Daisy and um, the Daisy Love. So yeah, if you like um, white florals, you'll definitely like this perfume. Um, and like I said, I got this at a really nice discount at Marshall's because I was looking online and um, for the 1.7 ounce bottle at Sephora right now, it's about $87. I would say it's about $90. Um, and it came out in 2007. It is, um, it is described as a white floral, white amber, um, like hypnotic scent. It is very complex. It's more um, long-lasting, and the projection on this is really, really nice. Um, and even though it's like kind of a crazy bottle, I feel like I could still fit this in my purse and not think twice about it, but maybe I would have it in a little pouch um, to carry on. But um, I have really good um, thoughts on this. It's really nice. Um, when you first spray it, it's a bit more um, floral and citrusy, and when it dries, it's more of like a smooth, clean, floral scent. Um, and on Fragrantica.com, um, it was said that if you like this Marc Jacobs Decadence, the Eau de Toilette version, that you would also like um, YSL's Black Opium. Um, and the Narciso Rodriguez um, Eau de Parfum version, which is the pink bottle in the black box. So I actually um, went to the store and I was interested in the perfume. Um, I liked it in the store and um, I'm actually glad that I asked about it because I was confused. I was going to get the um, pink box because I thought the pink perfume would be in the pink box, but it was actually opposite. And um, I had smelled the, I guess it was the Eau de Toilette version, which is the black box in the pink um, bottle. And that one is a lot more like darker, deeper, um, more musky. And I liked um, the pink one, the Narciso Rodriguez. It was too powdery for me, and when I wore it, that's just how it turned out for me. So I returned it, but um, I really think that... Uh, this is like a cleaner version. Like I wouldn't say that's anything like that one, but it was just saying um, on the website that it would be, um, you know, a similar scent. Another one that was listed was the uh, Carolina Herrera um, Eau de Parfum, and I actually have that one here in front of me. I just want to make sure that that's the yeah the Eau de Parfum, um, the roll on this Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Um, so they say if you like that, you'd like this, but um, I would just say this is a clean, fresh, floral scent. It's um, long-lasting. It projects really nice. This is lasting like 8 to 12 hours on me. Um, it's really nice. I love the packaging. It's really, really pretty. And um, I would say that this is probably more like of an everyday, all-year all scent because it is fresh and clean. Um, and I would say for the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume, I have the itty bitty miniature bottle right here. 
Boop. And it has a little flower on it. And this is pretty much um, a very classic um, floral, white floral, very uh, one singular note perfume. Um, this one didn't actually last um, that long on me, and um, I would say maybe about four hours. It's nice. Um, I feel like it's more of like a very like youthful scent, and this is, um, I feel like any age could wear this, but this is more intricate. This is more um, sophisticated, and I think that you can definitely tell by the bottle, like where they were going with this one. Um, I just love this so much. I think it's so gorgeous. And even though I found this um, from Marshalls, I uh, had purchased some perfume from Walmart and um, was really happy with my purchase. So I would also recommend um, a perfume from Walmart. They are heavily discounted and they are authentic because um, you know, Walmart's just a big brand. They want to kind of keep up their um, reputation. I don't really like supporting Walmart, but I mean, that's a pretty big price difference. So if I see, you know, online when I look that there is going to be like a nice discount, I would, um, you know, go for that rather than buying from another store. Um, so I actually found this same perfume, um, the same fluid ounce I believe for $30 on the Walmart site so I'll definitely link that below if you're interested in it if you already um, know what this smells like and you really um, enjoy Marc Jacobs scents I think this would be nice for you um, but thank you so much for watching and I hope uh, you enjoyed this video and it gave you a nice idea of the Marc Jacobs fragrance the decadence fragrance the eau de toilette version so thank you so much for watching